Howdy everyone, SOB here, and we're just going to do a little walkthrough on the HSC you just watched, just going through each of the steps here. So let me skip to where it starts. So you can go for a few of these different tack cubes here right off the bat in one of these runs. I usually just go for one of them like this one here or that one there. The issue is is that as we see here is they just start to push out as soon as you get close because they're all grouped so close together that once you get really close and it triggers them in combat they all have to push out and separate. So you got to be careful with that at the start of these runs. So let me go back through and see what I'm hitting here. So I'm at this point, as I'm approaching the attack cube, I'm hitting all of my major buffs. These are attack power and alpha, the energy amplifier, go down fighting, concentrate firepower, focused frenzy, and attack fleet and intel fleet. Those are the big ones. And I hit my spam key here to trigger beta, chemosite, fire at will, rapid fire, high yield, get my pets out, Merge power to engine or uh, weapons and my ox to bat. So I'm spamming quite a few things right off the bat. Which is what you should do in HSC. Now, just a few seconds in, I'm not being shot at heavily, but I did hit my DPRM. So when you're above 80% HP, the DPRM gives you a nice damage buff. And in this situation, I need that DPRM up by the time we're at the queen usually. So hitting it early lets me get that damage buff, and then usually you have it back by the time you get to the queen. So hitting that tac cube. Trying to stay on the tac cubes with my current build here, being it's rapid fire and high yield spam. It's such a single target focus build, you just want to be sitting on one target at a time, a big target, because that'll let you get the most out of the build. So I do start to take a little bit of fire and I hit the protomatter there. As we see here, go back just a little. I'm continuing just to hit my spam bar, all of my abilities. And I hit the uh, MX console somewhere here, but sometimes you gotta be careful with that in HSC because it'll get killed by a warp core breach or just get shot down. But it's still worth having on for the uh, passive buffs it has. So when I do start to pull a little bit of threat, I don't have Invincible on this ship. I have it on the character, but I don't have room for it in my trait list. So I'm trying to back away. I just hit the ROM cloak there from T5 ROM reputation. That's just trying to clear a little bit of threat off me. Someone else hit their sensor platform. So I'm trying to hit some more of my clickies here for survivability. Staying on the big targets. Not much going on right here. It's just the same stuff. We're just clearing out the targets. So... With that, there's a cutscene after you take out the entire first wave. And you can just hit escape to get right out of it. But it double pops up, even if you watch it. So you always want to hit escape because you can immediately start the next phase. So as you see here, I'm hitting all my buffs yet again and I'm shooting this pickle. Once it starts to get low. Right, let's just go back. What HP did I start to turn at there? So I had evasive when it got to about 20 because it was, you guys saw, it was dropping really fast there. So you want to turn around and get positioned so you can start hitting the other one. And it went down. So I'm on, I'm in front of the queen I'm over towards the spawn, like right where the mouse is, where uh, Fleet Admiral Shore is there. That That's the flank. That would be ideal being I'm running Intel, but 
I don't have the maneuverability in this thing to reposition for that, so I just decide to stay right where I am. You gotta be very careful when you see the feedback icon pop up. If you have a science player in the team, they need to have their subnucleonic beam ready to take off that feedback pulse as fast as possible. I knew that I was going to be fighting the queen there, so I saved at least one of my healing consoles for that, because without Zal, I am much more vulnerable. And with uh, the feedback pulse, I mean, let's just look at this here. So watch how fast I drop. I've seen myself, because the cannons do so much damage so fast, uh, if you're, if the Psy on the team doesn't quickly remove that feedback pulse, like, within a second, you could be dead in a second. So, let's watch that one more time. Actually, I could just go like this. So, at 2.16, I'm at 100%. 218 I dropped down to uh, 34 and that's with the Kabali console having been active for at least a second so even with my shots healing me I'm still doing so much damage to myself from the feedback that it has to be cleared by a side and it is there you see that there's the sub nuke icon but it's pretty easy if you are a science player you watch the queen and as soon as you see this blue triangle you sub nuker. If you don't, you're going to be having some very disappointed teammates. It's pretty much your entire job in the HSC as a Psy. And at this point, we just sit here and keep throwing everything we have at her. And that's it. So. When you're at this point where it's the cutscene with the queen, you want to alt-tab. Let me pull it up here. You want to alt-tab to your parse and hit analyze. If you don't, uh, after the cutscene, the queen adds some damage and it extends the combat duration by 15 seconds and can throw off everyone's parse. So, let me just show here. If we look at the parse is right here. It's at 210. I'm at 225.5. Now I play this cutscene again. And look at that. It just went up by 15 seconds and lowered everyone's DPS. It can even make it so the run doesn't count due to combat time for some people. So you either have to alt tab during that cutscene or you have to go in and remove that part manually from the combat log, which I'm not going to go over today. So if anyone has any questions, just let me know. I hope this little rundown of how this build was run in HSC helped you. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.